Hello. I'd like to suggest you to discover a work of art. During my elaborations, a few sounds will be played to feed the description and make it more relaxing. We will start with a still life by Adrienne von Utrecht from 1644. Adrienne von Utrecht is a Flemish painter. He was born and died in Antwerp. He traveled throughout Europe and painted this picture at the age of 43. He is known for his still lives. The still life is meant to be a representation of the ephemeral nature of life. These paintings are called memento mori, a Latin phrase meaning remember that you must die. The aim is to show the futility of life and the transience of time by showing familiar and perishable elements. Food, materials and surfaces are represented with great care and von Utrecht seeks a symbolic value for the work as a whole. In French, this style is called Nature Morte and in German Stil Leben, which means silent life. The painting of Caravaggio's fruit basket created around 1594-1602 is considered the first still life. Let's start with the living beings, the animals visible in the painting. A parrot in the upper left corner of the painting stands out through the red half of his body, but the other half and the lower feathers are dark green, which almost blends in with the brown background. At the bottom, in the center, a small monkey grabs a cherry that he is certainly about to eat. Its presence, and that of such a beautiful parrot, indicates the richness of the ensemble and the decor. At the bottom right is the final living animal in the scene, a small white dog facing the monkey. By its position in profile, it closes the painting, as does the parrot on the left side. A lobster is placed on the dining table, surrounded by victuals. Fruits, meat, seafood, a pie, squash. Among the fruits, we can see wild strawberries on the right side in a painted bowl, white and red grapes, quinces, blackberries, plums, figs, currants, apples and apricots. The lemon with the peel unrolled, here placed on a silver plate almost in the middle of the composition, is recurrent in other still life paintings. It represents virtuosity, but also the passage of time. This feast is positioned on a set of rich crockery, fabrics, furniture and silverware. The whole table is covered with plates. Only one chair is at its left end. It is covered with a green velvet back and seat. A large copper plate is placed on it, as well as a bowl. Two other cups are placed on the table and one of them is made of an imposing lemby shell. A white tablecloth cascades down from a chest placed on the upper right hand side of the table.
some elements in the table carry symbolic meaning. The lobster is often considered to represent instability, inconsistency. The grape has a religious significance. It reminds us of the passion of Jesus Christ. The representation of a Chinese tableware on which the lobster is placed, but also shells and quality materials, show the commercial power of a family or a country. On the floor, there is an upside-down fruit basket in the middle, and on the right side, a copper basin containing bottles of spirits. On the left side are abandoned musical instruments and a musical notebook, a violin, a flute, a guitar, a lute, but also the neck of what appears to be a viola da gamba, seems to have been hastily placed on the ground and accumulated at this very spot. So it's a calm scene that we observe. The music has stopped, the guests have finished eating after having happily served themselves in the feast. The moment after the party, the silence after the excitement. This calm is also there to remind us of the moments of joy and celebration that preceded it. This is one of the virtues of still life, reminding us of how everything passes and decays, so we must enjoy the present and its delights. In order to complete this recording, let's take a few minutes to focus on our well-being. Never forget to observe the world around you. Always observe the colors, the texture, the smell of fruits, fabrics, materials. Listen to their sounds and appreciate them in their purity. Tomorrow, you will be able to observe the painting with great attention. Look at its details. Many things are visible without paying attention. And this is true in many aspects of life. Mm -hmm.